Hey guys, it's Finn. This video, I'm going to show you a little implementation of the genetic algorithm, the genetic client. And for this, um, I just spent a afternoon, an afternoon, implementing Flappy Bird. And it's not amazing; it doesn't look really good, but um, it's very simple. So, um, what we do have, we have the game. We have like some pipes. It has a x coordinate on the screen. It's in between uh, 0 and 1. 1 is like on the right, 0 is on the left. We have a, um, where like the top um, thing of the pipe is and where the bottom thing. And we need to fly in between top and bot. And we have like a width of the pipe. Uh, we have like some collision stuff. We can ask if this is like next pipe. Uh, this is like if it's following or if we've already passed it. So if it's next, uh, we're going to um, going to pass it in the future at some point. So if it's we can ask if it's visible. Uh, if it's not, we're going to like destroy it in the game and so on. We have the bird that has a neural network and a score, and this obviously implements the genetic line. And our network is very small. We're using four um, input layers, uh, four input neurons, four, uh, four hidden neurons, and one output neuron. The opinion is just saying if it's above 0 0.5, we're going to jump. If it's below, we're, n we're going to do nothing. Uh, so we have some gravi gravity and so on. We can draw this on the screen. And um, this is like all very simple. So in the game, um, we do the um, algorithm that evolve if the amount of birds that are alive, like um, this is all the physics that's ha that's happening in the game, um, or like we're processing them, and sometimes we are killing birds. Like if they collide with a tube or a pipe, um, and if the amount of birds are alive, uh, equal to or smaller than zero. Usually it's not smaller than zero. I just write, um, I just wrote smaller if I mess up at some point. Um, this is like it's not really necessary. I can actually. Let me remove that. This is just like printing uh, what the maximum range was. Um, then we're going to evolve our birds that are in the the game, and then we're simply going to restart. And um, we can see how this um, how this looks. But I'm going to um, teach. Uh, I'm going to tell you a little bit about what's like happening inside. So what's the input to our network? And the input is simply the y position of our bird and uh, the x position is fixed so it doesn't change but what changes is the distance to the next um the next pipe also what we are going to feed in is we're going to feed in the bottom um value of the pipe and the top value of the pipe and we're not feeding anything else into the network so like all these four uh, these four values nothing more um and this is actually go, uh, already going to work. So I'm going to uh, start with, um, let me quickly find where I'm creating my, uh, it's not in here, it's probably in here. Uh, yeah, we have 500 birds right now. I only want to start with one single bird and um, let's see how this looks right now. So it's not beautiful or anything. It looks something like this, so yeah, that's the bird. It's just like flying down. Um, actually, that's a problem right there. Um, that's a mistake that I made, I think. It's just like going down even faster. I think I forgot to reset the physics or something, but let's just ignore that for now. Yeah, actually, that's a problem. Uh, I forgot to reset the physics, but that doesn't matter. It's still going to work. So let's go t up to... Um, Let's take 500 Flappy Birds, and how this is going to look is, um, we actually do have 500 birds right now, but most of them die at the beginning, and only like one of them, one of the 500 is going to pass. But you can already see that this one is going to like spread, and it's going to uh, evolve a lot of times, and going to mutate, or like going to spread its network, or its wakes, and um, all these spreaded networks are going to mutate a little bit. But over time, we're going to have many, many more um, Flappy Birds um, passing through these tubes. And well, yeah, this is 
the speed is not increasing or anything it's a very simple game but this is only for showing you how simple and efficient a genetic algorithm can be and actually it's very easy to implement and it's very beautiful to look at I also implemented um, a method to increase the speed that we can do that and in the bottom you can see how many tubes we have passed and sometimes it's like kind of falling back because our algorithm is just not very good but you can already see that it's kind of doing some learning so it's getting better and better and um, sometimes I have I've had like 300 or even 400 um, tubes passed and um, I'll just let this run for like let's say 10 seconds or something and see how good it behaves and hopefully we're going to have some good results in here so yeah we have 61 tubes and I think that's pretty good for the game and we can even go higher I think so we should we should be doing pretty good right now this one is like running for a while yeah 187 and this is going to like uh, keep going and keep going uh, one very important thing to take care of is I'm going to let this run on the left so one very important thing is um, to increase the amount of survivor survivors this is like very crucial to have it um, going efficient if we have only one survivor this is not going to work at all actually it might work but it's not good so the Im important thing about genetic algorithms is to to keep a uh, priority so we need to have a lot of different networks if we only take one survivor every 500 networks is going to every 500 networks are pretty much the same they're like we are tweaking them by uh, mutating them but they are like they're pretty much the same so the idea is to have a lot of different survivors to um, to to increase the uh, variety that we have in our networks this is like the fundamental concept of genetic algorithms and yeah actually this is still running so actually okay yeah it got to 1509 that's pretty good I think and I'm uploading the source code for this but you can already see that it's playing this game nearly perfectly so let me yeah so we have like I don't know maybe 200 100 that played the game like absolutely perfectly and over time it's going to increase and it's going to behave really good probably outperforming here this game so um, yeah I hope to, you like this little presentation of the game and actually this flappy bot ba uh, bird idea wasn't my idea so if there's someone writing yeah you stole the idea from that and that guy um, yeah I kind of did I just wanted to show you that it's very simple to implement something like this and I hope to see you in the next video and if you have any questions just ask me in the comments